Hey, Ronnie. Hi, Shimei. Welcome to Chicken Pot Pie. Hey, D. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Mew Mew Swan. How are you? Good to see you guys. Get a little hood chooching in, and then we're going to pop out a pot pie tonight. A nice hack job. Chicken Pot Pie. So, lots to look forward to tonight. Hello, Cry96 Tears. Hello. How you doing, Scottish? Got D here. How you doing, D? Ooh, pop that around. Uh, what's going on in the hood today? This old bomber's got a few miles on it. Hi, Nino. How are you? Hey Craig, let's see if I can avoid screaming at anybody tonight. Hood stuff. Mew Mew Swan, you've been doing your hood stuff. Hey Stan, yeah, Janet's Janet's like, oh. Rosie gets back. To, the rain's over now. Rosie can return to Santa Rosa. That's right. Hi, Joe. Call me selfish or whatever. Yeah, I like sunny weather. And uh, today's going to be a lot of fun. It'll probably be a long one tonight, but uh, should be fun. Sounds good. Enjoyed you. Thank you, Michael. What, what made the Mexican... Um, restaurant really bad is if you do a side-by-side -side comparison of the magnolias at the four queens look at the difference in prices the difference in prices is amazing i mean you were talking about 20 28 dollars and this place was 15 16 dollars big difference between the two and really good quality so that's definitely a must do if you're on Fremont Street you're definitely going to get value in that place there's no doubt about it now let's keep rolling along let's see what's going on in the hood today Raquel hello hello Callie Mo see you we got sunset, so the sun's going to be a little tough for a while. Oh, just, just persevere. See, there's the library. Library. Hey, Nori. How are you? Gracias. Abierto. Hey Thomas, how are you? It's gonna be cold tonight though. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do some shoots, get some exercise. The weather's starting to get better. So we're gonna be increasing the uh, live streams out on the streets and on the road. Why? Because it's always interesting. How you doing, Chef? Hope you're feeling better. Continued thoughts for good recovery for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have a blossom. Just ready to have a bud break on the plum tree. Getting close. Getting close. I'll try to give one more spray tomorrow. I should have done some work outside today, but I didn't. I should have cut up some more of those tree and branches to put in to carry away tomorrow's trash day. No, I haven't gone up there lately, Stan.
Hey, sure not tell you. Good to see you tonight. We never know when the rainy season's really going to be over, but I think our reservoirs are in pretty good shape here in uh, around the Bay Area. I can't speak about Lake Mead. Hey, Jr. How are you? I think Lake Mead rose a tad. Not sure. Seems to be a contest these days on the street to see who has the loudest car. Okay, that's good, Chef. Yeah, that, that was something that really shocked me when Chef went down. I was like, oh, no, man. That guy's like a Stonewall Jackson. There stands Chef like a stone wall. Nothing going to bring that down. Hawk, ho, hawk, hyena. Ho, hawk, hyena. Thank you. Yeah, thumbs up. We appreciate you. You're going to be definitely thumbsing up by the end of the night. We're going to knock out a chicken pot pie from scratch tonight. I might not be eating till 11, but it'll be good. amazing here they still have this memorial to Chino and it's gone as stronger than ever I don't know how long this thing's been up now but this guy must have really made a mark Yeah, we're going to do chicken pot pie. You, Nino, you might not be able to stay up late enough, but it's going to be a late one. Oh, 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 oh. all these little barriers they can't do the sideshows anymore here they slam into the curb and stuff oh, uh, 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 uh. what's your friend's taco company which one oh that's great thank you thank you Miranda I guess that's the Goldfield Hotel. I love that, but I'm just, unfortunately not. I'm not in an area with a lot of abandoned stuff because everything's valuable here. So it kind of makes it a drag. Oh yeah, El Roy's is great. That's one of the top ten uh, taco trucks in the nation, right there. Uh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh, yeah. You must have been out in Baker there, the one out there. That was pretty wild. That's the first house I've really seen that was like a real mud brick. And that thing's probably, gosh, I want to say 80 to 100 years old. Hey, Tio. How you doing? Ready for pot pie? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, Brandy. How are you? Walk sign is on. Walk sign is on. Oh. 
Yeah, I think because it's kind of off the beaten path a little bit. Plus, people still is kind of a general rule. They're pretty pretty respectful. Super especials. Oh. Six beers for 45 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure that's such a great deal. Seven something a brew. What do you guys think? I don't know if that's such a good deal if it's a su super especialis. I don't know. Shepherd pie. Yeah, I just don't got time to mash up potato. I don't even have any potatoes at home. Wow, these people are just nuts these days. Nothing like rush hour. Yeah, I think that's pretty expensive for... I'd rather just pick up a 12-pack for... You know, uh, two 24-packs for the price of that. Do, 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 do. It does sound expensive. So we got nightfall in Santa Rosa. Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it. We might sneak back down where we had that... Um, We found like that Greek or Russian Orthodox church down there. Remember that, Shimei? Scottish? No. Hey, Tess, how are you, sweetie? Good to see you. Tess continues to crank out those great food vids. With that very pleasing Eastern Pennsylvania accent there. It's like a little taste of home. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, the traffic just gets worse and worse and worse. So I have to widen out this road again. There's so much housing going up here, it's going to be exploded. Roseland Elementary, home of the Roadrunner. I figured I'd go live on this channel so people can, and more people can enjoy the, uh, when we start getting into the pot pie, I'm going to be just doing it by feel. I don't know what this place is. There's some people hanging back there, so I ain't going to go back there. Hey, Tanya, how you doing, honey? Love you more. I was going to make it with like little individual bowls, but I don't have really have, I only have two heat proof ones, so I'm going to be doing it on a pie plant, a uh, Pyrex. Yeah, I know, Joe. Just was never really compatible with my diet and stuff. Crazy, isn't it? I'm like 75% Irish and boom. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm cooking on here. Look at the title, Miranda. Gonna be doing it up with the pot pie. Yeah. I am cooking later. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Chicken pot pie from scratch. I got the chicken thawed. Good to see you, William. Hey, Joni, how you doing? There's 
pumps are all messed up. Here. I think we'll try to go up another block or so before we cut in. If that's possible. I don't know. You don't really want to be on a lot of these back roads it's because there's no sidewalks on them i did bring a flashlight yeah get your coffee started should be some good eating tonight you can be a little nosy in the neighborhoods too yeah i love the days are longer it's five uh five five twenty in the afternoon yeah Six weeks ago, we would have been totally in the dark here. There's that freebie table they still got there. Oh, well, thank you, William. I appreciate that. I usually just start with a little bit of a... You know, throw down a couple miles to kind of get the metabolic rate moving and then get on with the show. I'll be doing it rustic style outside, so always makes it more interesting, which is the definition of a hack job. We don't use no cookbook. Somebody's got solar up there. Sorry, I don't have it with the price of uh, electric these days. How you doing, Angus Kisses? You never had one homemade? I've made them before on the channel. What a strange piece of land, the way this is situated. It's like a uh, parallelogram. Or maybe more of a rhombus shape those of you who are geometrically inclined just your average polygon let's keep moving so good to see everybody tonight it's going to be a lot of fun for those of you who can stay of course you can always catch it tomorrow plus at the end i always do a little shorty here's one of these roll off one of these roll off dumpsters that's a big boy. I guess they gutted the whole house there. I don't know. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's it's delicious. It's the ultimate February comfort food. Oh, but this looks like a gravestone. It's quiet here. Well, you don't realize how noisy the rancho is till you walk around a little bit. I don't know what kind of fruit that. Yeah, it's a lemon tree there. Go see if we can poke around this. I don't know whether it's a Russian or a Greek Orthodox. Yeah, it's quiet back here. Listen. And then compare, yeah, that's a baby lemon tree. But Meyer lemons have a lot of yield. Listen out loud. Nothing. My place is like living in Grand Central. I love Coke Zero. I think I've had one today so far. It's been a busy day. Boy, look at all the little tchotchkes here. Somebody really loves their tchotchkes. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? Deborah Langley, the legend herself. How you doing, Deborah? That house is, this is a duplex. This is pretty nice looking. I think it's a duplex. I'm jealous if that's a big, one big house there. Yeah, I guess it is. I 
they got all their succulents here. Man, look at these cactus. Deborah Langley, you are legendary. Let's see, what is this place? Is that a... There's more houses back there. It's amazing how they stuff housing in here. You guys can look this up. See if we got a price on this. Let's see what street this is. Look at that color. We're on uh, McMinn. M-C-M-I-N-N. -N, McMinn. Sotheby's. And this is 851 McMinn Avenue. It looks like everybody moved out of there. I'm not I'm not in love with the color. Oh, there's there's some pretty there's some pretty big they are pretty I got a little bit of age. I got my own little cactus I've always kept there because I really like it. Even though they've prickled me sometimes horribly. I still like it. Here's another court we can be nosy here. Yeah, Coke Zero compared to, you know, when I go to a restaurant, maybe you guys heard me out and I was like, oh, you got Coke Zero. No, we got Diet Coke. Ah! Why don't you guys carry Coke Zero? Ah, no. It's not in fountain form yet. And the cans go fast. I don't know. Nestrovia. I love it. I mean, it brought me back after 10, 15 years on... Diet 7-Up brought me back. There's another lemon tree there. It almost makes like a little arch. Oh, it's 510,000. Okay, it doesn't really have any land on it. Most of the stuff is 40s and 40s, 50s and 60s in here. I don't know about little, using little pebbles and stuff in the yard. I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I can't do Diet Coke. I mean, I will just do it at the restaurant. You know, what's the alternative? Right. What's the alternative? Sometimes you just gotta roll with the program. I'm not crazy about it, but Fountain is slightly better. But I don't know what they did with Coke Zero. They just banged in a winner right there. Probably, probably the demand exceeded. Well, here's some dry scaping. Here's Shame. Look, they already got their uh, pansies in. Really, look, the, the trees are blooming. Right, one more week and we're really unofficially spring here. Really nice. Pebbles do the job. I just, you have to put down ground cloth though, right? Coke Zero is definitely five stars. I would agree. Irrigated with gray water. This looks like a cherry tree here. They're getting ready to bud out. Chinese magnificent looking house. Look at these little uh, little uh, tangerines here. That's one happy looking tree right there. Yay, yeah, Jerry, what's up? Good to see you. There's a magnolia already blooming. So you can see that uh, winter doesn't last long. It's not to say we're not going to have some bitter cold. Uh, like tonight's going to be very cold. I get up every day and there's frost outside. So, hello. I like your dog. Thanks. 
Yeah, somebody said 518 or something. Here's a cool looking one over here. Oh, that's it. Sun Kiss Zero and Dr. Pepper Zero. Yeah, well, you know I roll if it don't belong to you. Boom! There's another orange tree in the back. See, that's why I can't understand why oranges are so expensive in this store. We just grow them by the hundreds of pounds of them. Something wrong with our food chain. There's a, I don't know why that's there. That's a uh, pomegranate right there. There's a pomegranate tree. That's a pomegranate. I'm not really sure what that means, Craig, to tell you the truth. Probably some level of treatment, I'm not sure. Hello. Hello. There's a lot of citrus trees here. <laughs> the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Yeah, it was one of the greatest things when I moved here was the ability to grow anything. Even an avocado, which is pretty demanding, can grow up here. Oh, here's my Chrysler 300. Look at that, Chimay. There it is, in all of its glory. That baby's got the Hemi 300C, I think. Yeah, the Hemi. Just a general email, Kai. I can make it like new at gmail.com. There's a big orange tree right there. Look at the size of that thing. That's a full size. Take a look at this baby. Oh, actually, that might be a grapefruit tree. Yeah, that's a grapefruit tree. You're getting your back adjusted. Yeah, it's taken a lot of years. It's doing okay. I mean, I might go out. It's the bare root season and just see if I want to pop a almond tree down. Amazingly, we have sidewalk here. Oh, wow. Full of fruit. See, the apartment house is just the density. And where do these where do these people park? Oh, this is the back of the elementary school here. Hey, loving, how are you tonight? Ooh, 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 ooh. And if anybody needs a mattress. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Hey, Linda Harper, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Why'd you change your name? Did we did we get confused with this place? I don't know. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm doing good, Kenneth. How are you doing? That's great. I'm doing I'm doing pretty doggone good myself. 2023's been good. It 
Set one up, see on the, Oh, you got two iPads. Oh, that's cool. Well, just remind me when you come in, uh, Linda, because I'll forget. I think this is the place here. Now, how did we get lost? Didn't we have, uh, where was that place? Huh. I guess it's, uh, I guess maybe I went the wrong way here. Oh, well, we got something for next time. It's kind of weird. Hey, June, how you doing? Here's some palm trees. Well, that's very kind of you, Linda. We like it when you're jumping in and chatting away. Everything here is just apartments after apartments after apartments. It's a lot quieter in my street. Yeah, we'll see you. We got a while till the pie gets going here. Okay, this is West Avenue. Yeah, it must have been down the other end. I don't know how I got confused. It. I thought it, well, you could see it from the elementary school. Uh, well, I can tell you why. Because I'm on the wrong street here. I should be on Rose Avenue. Ah, I'm on the wrong street. This is West Avenue. I still get confused. I've lived here since 2011. And I still get confused. Temperature is probably, I want to say, 59 degrees, 58, 59. I woke up this morning. Woo! Is it cold? Yeah, I was on the, I don't know, I'm looking for Rose Avenue. I went the wrong, I just took the wrong street. It's a nice Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, it's a cute, it's what they call a Burbank style cottage here. It's interesting the way they did the porch. There's no guardrail on it, but... Uh, that's the only flaw I see. I wouldn't have it with kids around and stuff. And grandma. Gassy Grandma. Nathaniel. Oh, thank you, Nathaniel. Good to see you, my handsome friend. See you. Stay back from fence. They're not kidding either. This is where the really tough pit bulls are right here. Talk about scary. Ooh, 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 ooh. See, people leave their doors open and nobody really runs the heat. I mean, I wake up, it's somewhere like in the upper 40s to low 50s. There's one of the pit bulls right there. He seems to be in a good mood. Wow, very uncharacteristically calm tonight. Oh, I'm just happy, period. Hey, Linda. I have nothing to complain about, nothing to gripe about. Got all my digits, a little extra equipment. Life is good. How did we miss that? I really blew that. Got you guys all excited.
here's another cute little cottage here nothing here is less than half a mil no matter what it is a lot of little cottages here thinking about this doing this on the driveway because I need to get that tended to yeah there's lots of cute little cottages here the only problem here you're going to smell this restaurant all the time and that is Zona Problema Grande you now you better like the smells here Yeah, we're we're being driven in. We're definitely being driven into a lower standard of living for sure. Sad. This place is really cooking tonight. La Fondita. Do 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 do. Those wait, guys are waving wait. like they know me. Wait, wait, wait. Probably do. After a while, you don't even notice it. Although now they race a lot more. 589, I guess, hauling it into the desert there. You do get used to it, believe it or not. You do get acclimated. And all of a sudden you get up in the morning, you do pop the heat on, you put it on 60 degrees for a half hour, man, you're in, you're in heaven. Then you can just turn it off. Ooh, Gambina. Gambini. Bing. The ultimate of the year. Yeah, everybody moving with me. I mean, but you do get acclimated to it. You you do get used to it. Everybody's bills crazy. P, G, and F is on the job. Because of all the wildfires, the higher insurance, the higher cost of natural gas, and blah, 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 blah. I don't think it's going to get better. I don't know. Something smells good. We got the hey Marquise. We said God ain't crossing the street. Oh, I know. I got to be careful. I'm gonna have to pick up some plates. I don't know. I had four four silver plates before I got one. I don't even know where I guess they're all at. Where Bird is. Smaller cans of soup. Yeah, it's uh, shrinkflation. I think that's what they call it. I shop at Grocery Outlet. That's been my savior for the last year or so. Although I got money. I mean, I'm not, you know. Do, 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 do. Ooh. 
Lots of things have to change, huh? I'm afraid it's going to keep going up too. We have a really inverted yield curve, which is really a mess. Oh, 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 oh. The piper will be paid. We are on uh, the Avenue of Love, Sebastopol Road in Santa Rosa, California, almost in the very heart of the city. Just close to the center in the southwest, what we call in analytic geometry, the second quadrant. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this truck. Shape. Hello. What's this? What year? Oh, what year? Que I'm on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> That's nice. 195. I don't know what year it is though. Uh, 2013. That's a nice looking truck, isn't it? 19.5. Yeah, you get acclimated. Yeah, there you go, Shimei. Shimei supporting the company there. You gotta like the way that girl thinks. Oh, ooh. Yeah, but that trucks, you can tell somebody really kept that in good condition. You know, um, might be a diesel. Is that a diesel? Sierra. I'm not sure if it's a diesel or not. This guy's like it's his uncle. It's like everybody's related here. Right. Four by four, too. That's a nice truck. Uh, SLE, Sierra, SLE. You do get acclimated to it, trust and believe, but if you're always living in 70, 72 degrees, my best advice is just take it down and you know, take it down and just within a few days and then just get used to popping on the heat for a half hour in the morning and then just letting it gradually go down during the day. You'll do fine. Bill will still be high. I mean, I got the shine shack and uh, the heaters on the electric heat water heater out there, but I have a duty to make sure it's comfortable and livable for Blackbird. Selling 14 carats. Where you can take it, it's where you can take a bus. Here, LA. Let me tell you, Mexican motor coaches are really comfortable. Desert climate. 
Sounds like Slab City for you, Shimei. This is a good price for gas. I always keep forgetting. $23.99, that's like $5 cheaper than the Shell station. Look at that, rent a room for 800 bucks. for rent. Rent a room for one person. I like to uh, get myself out on that really cold floor and stuff in the morning. I call it the morning penance. I love you. Happy Tuesday, Nathan. Getting ready for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, very expensive. Well, you just got to do it up, wine country. Yeah. Place is spooky over here. Valentine's Day. Hey, Cass, how you doing, sweetie? Yeah, today's nice. I mean, I'll wake up tomorrow. It'll be frost outside, but it's okay. Viva Saludalbul. Smell weed. I never see anybody in this pasta place. Hey Toodles, how you doing? Yeah, I like to try to load the coffee maker up the night before and then put it on the timer because I got like a space age Mr. Coffee and that gives me the incentive to get rolling. Immig immigraciones.
Vegas was really good. Look at these camellias are in bloom. I think this is the kind that's called a Christmas when I have it out back. Planted last year. Keurig and I don't like it. I just like the Mr. Coffee. I got a space age one. What are we congratulating? You got what? Alan Gentry, congrats. Yeah, we've we've certainly cultivated a good audience for sure. And we can we can always feel good about what we do at the end of the night too. We don't have to curse, tear people down. <laughs> it's funny this is we always joke this is the slowest jack-in-the-box in the country right here it's like they almost take pride hey Shirley how are you bienvenidos a Jackie el cuarto Place is closed on Monday. Huh, wonder what happened here. Oh, Tuesday they're closed. Hey Taylor, how you doing beautiful? Oh, this reminds me of the sushi we had at the English Hotel. Kiss me roll. Uh, uh, lucky seven. Yeah, I know. It's a compliment to you, Alan, and everybody else. It's the side chat's what makes the chat. I'm gonna need a new hat soon. Hey, yeah, we, we. Who's that? Is that? Oh, Taylor, thank you, sweetie. Drop it like hot. Well, thank you, sweetie. How very kind of you. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beauty and kindness, a rare combo. There we go. And laundry day. Thank you very much, Taylor. Appreciate it. Here's my mobile phone company for the other one. I get a good deal, 15 bucks a month. You want a black cowboy hat? That'd look pretty good. Yeah, they would do everything there. I mean, you know, Mexican places do it all. Viagra. <laughs> Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Donut grow up. We got a we got a donut shop here. That looks good, doesn't it? Oh wow! I gotta hit this in the morning. I'll be really a fatty cakes. It's 
Oh wow, you can get your uh, work jackets there. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't really do much for sweets or donuts. I do like pancakes. Here's the pot shop. I haven't had a uh, gummy in probably a month. Prime time. Deportes. I guess this is organic. I got no idea. Prices don't seem too bad. I wonder if you have to have a special card to shop here. Bring back an his purchase receipt and we will replace it. Yeah, there you go. It's some, you know, sometimes I'll need them and then I'll go, you know, a month or so and nothing. I thought, uh, oh, you were born in Nevada, that's right. I forgot where you are now, Taylor. Well, they took down all this fencing. Everything will eventually move to bags, I'm sure. Thanks again, Taylor, for your kindness. Do, 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 do. I don't know if he even knows it's in there. I don't know. Because I know that he compares in shops because we both go to the Spark, S-P-A-R-C. Because he told me, oh, that's where I go because that's where the price is best. Uh, uh, uh. So let's go make a pot pie from scratch. Let's do a hack job pot pie. I changed out the gas cylinder today. The five gallon propane. Yeah, I've never even seen in all these. CBD chocolate bites. We're going to use uh, chicken. I got chicken breast. I got chicken broth. We're going to use some flour, salt, pepper, peas, carrots, and onion. No potatoes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Joey D's like, oh. As Irish as you are, no potato. This is where you really got to be careful crossing here.
You got to make sure you catch everybody's eye here. This is like a death zone. Yeah, it's going to be a hack job pot pie, Toodles. We got to make the crust. We got to make the filling. We got to do the whole schlamazel. Now you got to watch everybody here and make sure they're not going to turn into you. What's up, Robbie? How you doing? Everybody's beeping. I'm crossing the street, dope. Guy's beeping at that guy that can't point, turn the corner because I'm here. Uh. Now, it's good to see you tonight, Robbie. Let's get on our horse and make a pot pie tonight. Let's do it up. Let's do it up. I haven't heard the bank get robbed lately. It used to be like every Friday afternoon. Ring. I guess it's too much work these days for robbers to rob a bank. Too much effort. It's easier to just embezzle it or, you know, fraudulently get it. It had to be you. It had to be you. La da dee do, la da da do, la da da da. Please hit that thumbs up button for me tonight, and everything will be all right. We're gonna have a pot pie, it's gonna be a hack job, it's gonna be good. Run, 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 run. Uh, ooh. Our Alpine Route mailman didn't come today. We're on an Alpine Route. <laughs> you believe this is Alpine? This uh, city's flat as a flounder over here. Alpine. Nothing surprises me. Trash day in the hood tomorrow, guys. Do it up. Listen to my shoes squeaking still. No, I'm not wearing the good ones there for dress out. Listen to that. Yeah, smack that button. Let me just double check, make sure. Alpine man didn't come. I haven't seen Bert in a couple days. Is he hiding on rent day? Now, let's see. Nothing. Uh, yeah, I didn't have any success at all. Machines are just tight. Alright. Tomorrow we're gonna tomorrow I think our project tomorrow we're gonna clean up the workshop after kind of a tough winter. Shouldn't be too too bad. And uh, get ready for our next restoration project here. Still does the boom. Uh, I 
like that noise, Nori. Makes me know I'm alive. Look at the way Kitchen Stadium just curves off to the left here. Up top. This, this is so unbelievable. This, this thing is just running down there like... Hey, Naomi. Sometimes you just have to stop and appreciate the total hack job way this thing's holding together right now. This thing needs a major retooling. No, I'll be I'll be cleaning that up tomorrow. I got to get ready to do. Everybody's like, oh, when's the when's the next restoration project? We got a huge quadraphonic Marantz to do. That's going to be very demanding. All right, here we go. I don't even know what state it's in. Might be okay. Just clean, lubricate. And We're going to knock out the dough real quick here. One out of every 130 people or so still use Windows XP. Baby tiger, what are you doing? The cats are around, they're here. They always have the rancho under surveillance, trust and believe. Always under surveillance. do a little cleaning over here this is uh, this is where we're going to um, yeah I think things things are fair but interest rates are going up and just the cost of living is driving people out of the middle class right now
now we got three cats. You three knuckleheads are all here. So Janet gave me the invite, Bobby and I, to the Super Bowl. Stop, stop, stop rushing me when you see me. They see me, they're running like, uh. All right, this is going to be a long night tonight, so any of you who have to get to bed, I understand. You can always pick it up in the morning. Hey, Elmer, how are you? do the uh, we're gonna make the pastry dough here right on the uh, table tonight okay uh, 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 let me drink a little bit of water here get this side channel oh. it's gonna be good tonight chicken pot pie baby Got the table ready to go. Chicken pot pie Tuesday. Knuckleheads. Well, Rosie, you're the biggest knucklehead of all. I know. I know. I know. Let's get the side chat on here. No, I don't have to pre cook the, uh, I have to pre cook the filling. That's going to be the key. The rest of it will take care of itself because I have a baking stone in the grill. 15 minutes before we're ready to put the pie in, we're going to get that stone up to temperature. That's going to blast a lot of heat through the bottom there, and then the top will get cooked, cooked too. So, Very, very important. It had to be you. It had to be you. Okay. Just putting a side chat on here. I didn't even know I had a uh, speaker in there. Do, 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 do. The cats are glad to have me for dinner, exactly. Like, what? I feel like a cold wind tonight. But I kind of have myself down for uh, this Friday and Saturday night. Let the chicken warm up a little bit here. Right. 
Yeah, they're running all over the place. I guess I'm going to uh, feed them. Let's get their food set up. I don't know where Bird is. Bird could be sleeping right now. Are you gonna, this thing is going to be fully loaded with, uh, with chicken here. Y'all be cool a minute. Keep them out of my way for a little while. I'll still use the ball, it's a little wet this day to still. I haven't seen Susie lately, she sent the nine lives.
That Trotsky really eats a lot. Oh boy. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Alright, we're gonna make our crust real quick here. Very important, we got a nine inch pie plate here. Salt, we got our ice water. We're gonna get our flour. We've got uh, one half cup of butter. We're gonna do a butter crust tonight, plus one tablespoon, okay? That's what we're gonna be using on that. Man, the kitties are doing it up. Two cups of all-purpose flour here, and your fat should always be one quarter of your flour. Okay. In other words, four, two cups of flour, one half cup of butter. I gave a little extra. So here's one, number two there. I'm going to do a little extra there just to be sure you have the extra. All-purpose, not bread flour, please. Never pour salt directly into it. Do about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We got our ice water ready to go here. Stir that with our hands. Incorporate it. Now we're going to drop our. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. When you drop the butter in there. Uh-uh, don't even be looking. Don't even be thinking of it. You're always, the grass is always green. Grass is always green. Okay. All right, everybody, see you okay? Looks good. Yeah, we're going to eat late. This will be hot job. This will be faster than you think. I'm going to do the initial cutting. Take the bench scraper here. Okay. Make sure your butter is very, very cold. Okay. We got our pastry cutter here. All right. This baby's like really important to have that. First, it's going to be a little hard. All the butter is going to stick to it because it's very cold. You'll have to straighten out your things once in a while, but it'll be fine. Don't be looking in the house there. there ain't nothing in there for you. There ain't nothing worth being shot over. Remember the sign out front? Nothing worth dying for in here.
see the way that kind of gets a little bent up you can just straighten her right on out again okay Just turning right into the mixture here. We're going to reduce this till it's piece of pea sized pieces of butter here, okay? This is the hardest part of the whole process. Be patient. This stuff should be fun. Anything you do, do well. Always do to the best of your ability. No matter how menial the task. That's perfect. I don't have anything else. Got a really good distribution of fat there. So, thank you, Trixie. Can we get one paw print? All right, there it is. It's all that's called cutting it because the fat needs to be cold. Because if it's not cold when it hits the heat, that's when it'll sizzle and make the flakiness. So, if it goes in warm, you're not going to have any flakiness. Now we're going to make a well in the middle here. Pour out. Start with about two tablespoons of ice cold water. And I'm pulling from the outside to the middle. Right. You got food on your head. Walking around with a piece of food on your head. See how that's starting to get shaggy there? That's the way we want it to start. And little by little, we'll keep adding water in there, okay? I'm gonna put a hole in the middle. We're gonna add another tablespoon and a half. Pull from the outside to the middle. You shouldn't even feel any of the moisture. See how that gets progressively, progressively shaggy like that, okay? <laughs> I love it when Shemay, <laughs> hey Kelly, <laughs> I love it when Shemay's like, I wrote the hell I, I hate the cookbook. The one thing Chimay does appreciate is cooking and baking. All right, our last tablespoon in here. We're moving it all around so we don't have any super spots that are super M-O-I-S-T. We, well, we just want them moist. We don't want them wet here. Sorry, sorry, Chimay. See how just gradually more and more like that. Okay, there's no way that that would stick together with a rolling pin. Okay, there's no way. So we just keep adding our our water till we get the consistency that we want. Pulling from the outside to the middle. Getting better and better. When we don't have any small flakes of flour, we know we're just about there. See how that's starting to come together into a ball now. Make sure your hands are clean. All right. Okay. Well, I don't know, Sarah, I'm, I wouldn't say an expert at cooking. I enjoy baking. Uh, but I'm far from an expert, but I do know how to handle pastry and dough and all that. So in the meantime, I'm warming up the uh, 
chicken breast over there. This is going to go faster than you think it is tonight. We're just about there. Put one more little bit. And I probably use six six tablespoons all together. But I've got it evenly distributed. And now you can see when I it holds together now in a good way so it's almost enough to work it but you can see at the bottom there's still some some little particles in there pour that out on the table now so. start to get that into a ball you want to work it rapidly uh, uh, uh. So I go get that rolling pin. Just need a little more water here. The final hold together on that. If you're just coming in, I cleaned this super well before I started. So I'm getting that all together. Just working that. That's looking really good right there. little bits of fat in there, the butter, are still all holding together really well. They're not melted at all because I'm working this uh, quickly here. Right, so what I'm going to do now is cut this. I'm going to put about one third About one third for the top and two thirds for the bottom here, okay? And, uh, shape that into a disc. All right. And we're just going to pop that into the freezer. So we've got one disc for the bottom and we got one for the top. Okay, you can actually still see you can still see the butter bits in there. Okay, very very important. Don't even think about it. Baby socks, baby socks, no, 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 there's number one, and let's get number two, Two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these in the uh, freezer. I might have to step up to a bigger, uh, probably going to use the nine and a half inch. I haven't put any spray in it yet, so I think I'm going to put it up to a little bigger size. Okay, so it'll be better. I'm going to put these in the freezer. And we're going to get started on making the uh, filling real quick.
So you may you may ask why do you put that in the freezer? Because it relaxes it relaxes the gluten and it makes it easier to roll it out. It also preserves the butter inside, so it's in a still in a good state. Don't ever put this down to a drain. Okay. It will definitely, uh, over time, clog up. You guys are like, what's the, what's next on the menu tonight? Rosie, what's next on the menu? All right, there we go. All right. Yeah, take your time. Make things with love. Make things clean. Make things neat and sanitary. that in the freezer more than about 20 minutes. It'll be too hard. the garlic too. You guys are just you guys are just totally fascinated tonight, aren't you, Dan? Use it last. Here goes some garlic. A tablespoon of garlic. We've done a real job on that jar. Haven't we? Yes, we have. It 
that with some oil. And last on the cutting board, we're gonna we're gonna do the carrots. You don't need carrots. You already got good night sight, right? Baby tiger's like, what the heck are we eating tonight? What happened? The food, the food choices just collapsed here. We were doing so good. We're meat eaters. I'm gonna do about a cup of carrots here. not use canned peas, they'll turn to mush here. Right, you need frozen peas. Okay. Now we're going we're to do the chicken too at the same time. Right. We will be able to clean the board up real good. Get this concoction cooked up really well. You're the reason we can't have nice things around here. Can't have chickens, can't have anything. You're the reason for the season. Alright, so we got that pretty much there. Now we're gonna, we're gonna sort of cube that a little bit. Good. And that'll cook up quick with everything else we got. For those of you who don't like pot pies that have no chicken in them, your ship has come in with this one. That is one, that's one big chicken breast right there, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm gonna whack you. Let me clean this off, sterilize this real good. Put your uh, broth in yet, okay? We need to get this on the stove and get this filling cooking up. Right. Man, I got cats underfoot tonight like crazy.
Time to put a little fire in the hole. Give a little shake of a little salt on there. We're gonna put a little pepper in. And we're gonna saute that all up real good. And I'm moving the uh, discs to the refrigerator. Put a little bit of black pepper in here too. All right. Don't put your peas in yet. You always pre-cook your filling. I wash my hands really well too because of handling chicken. That's a lot of chicken, man. That is gonna be good. Now because I cubed up the chicken, it's gonna be a lot faster. And if I had to stand out here and like cook a chicken breast or something like that, so that's gonna be a lot quicker. I'm gonna take this inside. I got that pretty low there. Pack job, pot pot. Turn it a little, little bit lower. We're not in any rush tonight. I know some some people will have to bail. That's fine. I'll be back in a minute. The only thing we're gonna have to do tonight to be a little patient. Once this filling is cooked, it's gotta cool off. You can't put it hot into the shell or it'll cook the uh, dough. You don't want that. Oof. Should have 
touch that guard. Woo -wee. We got a new cylinder here though. Oh, I didn't turn it in. Last thing we're going to do is add in the uh, peas and we're going to put the broth in. What's happening now is it's letting the, um, these things steam and get soft. They can be al dente, they'll get a little bit softer once they're in the, once they're cooking away, okay? And I'm using Pacific free range chicken broth here, organic. All right. No, we got the gas, we're good. I said, forgot to turn the valve on all the way. We're good. Look at you sitting on the table like you're ready to eat. Helping to steam in there. That's right, Ronnie. You're exactly right. We just want to make sure that chicken gets a really good head start and then we'll adjust for seasoning. Oh, darn, I burned myself on that. My fault. Kind of lucky we've never really had a serious injury in Kitchen Stadium. It's getting there, Naomi. This is not a night we want to watch our figure, that's for sure. We're using a butter crust tonight, too. These are nice big chunks of chicken, too. Got a really good start. And at the end, we're going to thicken that up. Yeah, this is not a weight loss show. That's the doggone sure. We're going to put about one cup in there. Like Rosie, you never measure anything, I know. We're going to turn that on low. It's like Ronnie said, you want this baby. You want the infusion. clean on the bottom is the top right now. You want that you want that to infuse into into there. Yeah, we don't want it too we don't want it too thick. That was about a cup right there. About a cup. Okay. We just want everything good because we have to thicken that up. Right. And then it's got to cool off in the fridge. Okay. That's already looking really delicious there. That is really... Pop a little more pepper in there. That's really... That's really tasting good. Notice I haven't put the peas in yet. We're going to let 
got that uh, cover and simmer for a bit. I've got that heat on low. We're looking good. I mean, I'm I clean as I go. The last thing I have to do is make up a little flour water concoction for thickening. point in uh, rolling the dough out yet okay, because it's, this, this mixture has got to cool off Probably going to use the rest of the broth to make our own noodles for chicken noodle. Probably tomorrow night we'll make a chicken noodle. Uh, look at that bubbling away. That's a happy looking deal right there. That is a happy look. Hey Charlotte. I know, you're so deprived. Life is so bad here on the rancho. We're so How did we end up in this mess? We could have been at the rich side of town. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you meowing about? Uh-oh. I was like, where was the review of that? Magnolias. I'm like, oh well, we got outside. It was uh, we just went live. I forgot to do the outside standing review. That was pretty funny. Mm. Doing good. We need about somebody can give me ten minutes on that, and then we'll pop the peas in and we'll cool it down. We'll, we'll actually put our flour mixture in and flour and water and we'll get that thickened up and we will cool that down hey Italian stallion how you doing Phil let's turn that around yeah it's a cooking away it's looking it is looking good this is our hack job I know you guys don't eat carrots and onions, oh, baby tiger, you dope. I've stepped up to the uh, nine and a half inch now, which is has a little more depth to it. What you need to make sure you do is you spray this really well with the spray, the non-stick release spray, because this literally the dough has to fry on the bottom, and it's going to need that oil to fry. Okay, it's going to be very essential. Chicken is thoroughly cooked. There's no risk of 
poisoning or salmonella or anything like that, so it's important. And everything's all infused. Like Ronnie said, when you put the broth in, it pulls it all together. Yep, you need to have that oil on the bottom to fry that up, to make it good. Potato. You can cube up potato and put it in too. Right, lastly, we're going to put the peas in. Half a cup of peas. There we go. Perfect. Now we're going to let that go with the peas for a couple minutes. And then we're going to add our thickening mixture, and we're going to let that cool down in the uh, fridge, all right? Might as well put the last, I've only got a few. I like this. It's something very pretty about the color of the pot pie filling, too, okay? It's looking really good. Put one more blast of. I don't. I'm not a person that's given to measuring, and I'll, I just. Oh, I have an intuitive feel for. You know, I know the way that things should look. I know the way that things should. Look. So I'll show you guys where we're actually not too far from. Rolling it out and popping this baby in. They're going nuts over here. I'm using a butter crust tonight. Adam, good to see you, by the way. You're doing well, my friend. I like the house you're in now. Make sure that's going good. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of a tablespoon of flour with a little bit of water. I'll pour the flour in, you'll have lumpiness, Nobody likes lumpy. Pop a tablespoon in. We want to add some water. We want to whip. We want to really mix that up really well. want to put a handful of flour into a hot mix, okay? Very, very important. Yeah, I like that consistency. So you never have any lumps. No, no lumps. 
really good consistency. Okay. Now we're going to put this in and we're going to thicken this up. Little by little we're going to add it. Man, is that good. We're going to let that get a little bit thicker. I'll bring you guys over show you what we're working here. This is a very important part of this whole process. Don't put stuff in with broth. You'll have a mess. Alright. See how that's... Oh, sorry. See how that's all thick now? Okay. That's exactly the consistency that you want. That's going to maintain its juiciness there. Alright, so into the fridge we go. The uh, filling is done. We're going to let that cool off. We don't want to put hot filling in. Okay? Very We don't want to pre-cook that shell with the hot. We want it to be cool. All right. Okay. Well, that's all it is, except you put it in a crust. Inside into the fridge she goes. Mm -hmm. Man, that's perfect. When you go to put the filling in, were you on that table, you knucklehead? Uh, when you go to put that filling in, and it's thick enough, when you go to serve it up, it won't all run out like a soup. I don't know who's got, uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to let that sit inside in the fridge for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I don't have a Wagyu beef. Who's got a Wagyu beef? I don't have Wagyu beef. I wish. Baby tiger. Baby socks. Oh, you're afraid you're going to miss something, Trotsky, huh? What are you doing? Uh, oh. Thank you, Linda. So far, so good. We haven't had any screw-ups. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, we're just going to have to live with it. I'm going to have to wipe that down. Ah. <sighs> 
I'm gonna spank somebody. My finger's okay. You can see it's kind of turning white. That's where I handled the metal bar. It was hot. It's okay. Uh, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Burn, baby, burn. So after about five minutes, I'll stir that in the fridge. And we'll get that down to temperature. Your filling ideally should be at uh, refrigerator temperature when it goes in, okay? Because you want the final cooking to be as the whole deal comes up to temperature. If you were to pour that hot filling in now, you would have a mushy bottom crust. All right. Yeah, Linda's like, who needs crust? I'll just eat that baby right now. <laughs> Baby tiger, baby socks, you guys ate well tonight. You ate well. I have some pot pie. I don't know, Margie. I haven't seen him since I got back from. Uh... I'm waiting on February's rent. Ducking the, ducking the landlord. Yeah, you, you got to know that about a soggy crust, okay? Uh, you need to make sure your filling goes in cold. I don't care. Ideally, apple filling. You, your apple stuff should... Some people pre-cook their filling and then take cool it down. Blueberries, cherries, all that stuff should go in cold. Pouring hot and top crust only. Well, uh, we're doing the whole deal here, Trixie. We're doing uh, we're doing the bottom and the top here. Uh, yeah, pouring hot and top crust. Yeah, we're just we're doing the whole the whole schlamazel tonight. I hope she's okay too. She might be traveling. Oh, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. important that you spray this and this, this have a lot of oil on this bottom. So really fry that bottom. Yeah, because of you guys, because of you, I've got to clean again. You couldn't keep your paws off.
better not be up on that table. All the dishes are already cleaned up. Some people use a dough cloth to put on a table. I don't have one. I see you all, you're going to go nuts when I cut up this pie, I know. Okay, this baby is really perfectly clean again. Ready to go. All right. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Marie Calendar. Uh, you can do it with a biscuit crust. You can do that. I'm just doing. Uh, I'm doing it old school. I'm doing it up old school tonight. Maybe if I have a Trader Joe's is the closest I will get to this. That's fine. This is more demonstrating what I call hack job uh, cooking. Being outside with very primitive. Uh, you know, you could actually pull this off on a camping trip with a Dutch oven. It's not really that hard. The time is you got to wait till the filling cools down. Turkey and Weiss store for 69 bucks. <laughs> Was it gold leaf on the outside of it? $69 for a turkey. $69 for a turkey. I bet you were. Yeah, the outdoor cooking is good. It just shows you what's possible. <coughs> do, 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 do. I've never heard baby socks ever meow. Just do a silent scream. Frozen goose for 90 at Safeway. Jeez. Who? I mean, it's just impossible. You have to tell me, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you, Adam. You showed me a lot with sewing. I always buy turkey after Thanksgiving. That's the way to do it, Hobotron. That is the way to... Hey, it's only 7.30, so how long have I actually been doing the cooking part? About 45 minutes? Um, another 10 minutes or so, we should have our... We should be down. Uh, yeah, $69, Elmer. Wow. Can you imagine that? And this is a, this is a country that's agriculturally rich. It's just, it's just like everything's starting to be affected by disease and uh, all we need is some kind of rust in the wheat belt or some kind of crazy stuff. Gold giblets. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to get our beaten egg. We're going to beat an egg and use the egg bars too on it. Oof.
English go time. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna fire up the grill now. I changed out the gas cylinder today, so we should be good to go. Over there. Uh, yeah, I got this from Janet and the boss when they got their new. Most everything I have is from them, but when they moved, when they get, when they bought their new set. I think the spark is working now. best to try to maintain 400 degrees in that. It's going to want to go up to 450, but we're going to do our best to try to maintain 400 in there. So it's going to take some adjusting. Let's get ready to do it up. Do one disc at a time here. Hey, Krita. Let's go ahead and take our first disc here. <clears throat> this has been nice and cooled in the fridge, first the freezer, then the fridge. Right there. easier to work because it's been refrigerated. And you still got all the all the flour, all the butter bits in it and everything. Let's make sure to keep a good bit of flour. stickiness at all. I'm going to roll that out to about an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm going to show you what, how the butter bits maintain. 
because it's cold, you can actually see the bits of butter are still in there. And that's what creates flakiness. Just kind of trying to give a few baking tips too. Right, so you always some people have a refrigerated block of granite that they work on. <sighs> This over here. I'm gonna get this up on the rolling pin. Don't stretch it or you'll create holes. Lift it up if you're going to push it into the sides. Make sure to lift up the edge. Okay, that looks pretty good on there. All right. Ooh, pot pie. Yeah, I'm going to do a pot pie short running. Yep. Yeah. Got a little too much hanging over, so I'm gonna trim that back. I'm trying to keep it uniform. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good, that's a little much. Cats have rolled out of here, so that's good. Now I'm gonna take the fork. There. All right, hi Cheryl. Okay, we're gonna take the four. I'm gonna dock that. Put that on the side, and we're gonna have our other. So I go ahead and our filling is nicely cooled off now. I think that's going to need about five more minutes and then we're ready to put this together. This will be fine. It's cool outside. You can see all the butter bits on the bottom in there. You know, the chef will be, you know, you can't keep the chef down. Keep the chef down. Yeah, thank you, chef. Meat pie would be a good to make too. I'm gonna try it. 
it's not there's really no difference between this crust and uh, what you're going to use for an apple pie it's all the same I just put a little bit of salt normally I'd sugar up a little bit of pastry uh, shell You best not be up there. Ideally, you would have this overnight, just pulling off. All right, there goes our filling in. Looks like it's going to be a good... That looks like it's just going to be the right amount over there. Yeah, I got my knife to uh, put on the top of it, vent it a little bit. Ideally, you would want that filling to be cold, colder the better. But... All right, there we go. Sit this aside for a minute. Back again, huh? Yeah, I know. Your life is really bad. Like you stumbled into the promised land when you got here. Stumbled right into the promised land. Called you Moses. You're the luckiest cat in the world. Having that dough refrigerated really relaxes it, so it's a lot easier to roll in. You don't need to make it hyper big. Yeah, it should be okay right there. I'm going to uh, hit this with a little bit. I want to seal the edges. So I'm giving it a beaten, beaten egg here. To give some sealing for the edges. Just 
smelling chicken, ain't you? Woo wee. I smell California chicken, Ma. All right, now we're gonna tuck the. We're gonna fold it under now. That's gonna seal that up real good. I'm folding the out the top of the top underneath at the bottom at the edge. You could do this for individual pot pies if you wanted to. That stove, that, that barbecue should be going good too. That's looking pretty, pretty good. I'm glad I pulled the filling off there. So that's the way that's working. All right. Hey, Rupert, how are you? I'm gonna, most pot pies, they'll fork the edge. All right. Get a little more seal on the deal. So I've got the edge sort of pork sealed there. Yep, I'm looking pretty good. All right, now we're gonna brush. We're gonna check our temperature over here. I'm gonna turn this down just. I want to try to maintain as close to 400 as possible in there. It's another attention seeking device. It's like Rosie, right? Everybody's got to be attention seeking. I think Baby Tiger's the, the cat that most matches my personality. Kind of nosy and Now we're going to vent it a little bit, just so the steam comes out. So, wiggle sideways, keep the vents open because you want to see that bubbling up. So there she goes. She's ready to go in there. All right. Let's take her over. Let's be very careful. I don't want to drop it. Right in for a My baking stone is nice and hot. All right, there she goes. Cleanup time. Not bad. It's been about an hour, I think. Just doing this part. So let me just clean a few things real quick.
What are you doing? What are you doing? You sound like the boss. What are you doing? So the boss gave the invite for the Super Bowl. I can't believe everything's almost all cleaned up. What? But, boss is los. What are you doing? Not really that not really that hard, right? As long as it turns after it. Okay, I'm going to clean that off last. I'm not going to have a Coke Zero till it's go time. But what do you guys think? Not that, uh, not that difficult to do. Welcome back, Vern. Did you tease us? Did you tease? Did you tease us? You better not tease that cat. Oh, yeah, no, Linda, I've just, I've baked so much over the years. So much, yeah, I hope it turns out good. We'll know. Yeah, that's a baking stone, yep. You need a baking stone because you need controlled indirect heat. Uh, direct heat underneath it at stone. It's going to disperse the heat evenly on top. Very important because that initial blast of heat is what's frying that oil on the, that we put on the bottom. That's frying that dough down there and making it real good. Hey, we got Hawaii. How you doing, babe? And thank you, Craig. Well, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. Wow. 
you're looking at me like a you are not uh, hey buttercup baby how are you how are you you work working yeah it's only uh, five o'clock in Hawaii yeah you can get a good baking stone You should use a baking stone for pizza. Put your pan on top of the baking stone. Right. Evenly disperse the heat. But let me tell you, baking bread and things like that, you need that blast of initial heat underneath to create the maximum oven spring or size of the loaf. Yeah, I need a string, yeah. They're waiting to see what's for eats. Heckle and Jekyll. I don't know where Trotsky is. Broke your other one, yeah. What's up, John? Hey, Mark, how are you? I'm going to check the temperature. You're in and he's taking the whole damn day to do it, my music. <laughs> well,. You know, this is why we call it hack job. Um, ideally, you would want to have that filling really cold before it goes in. That's good, Mark. That would be the that would be the ideal arrangement. Do, 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 do. Yeah, laser pointer. You know, and me, I'll blind myself or something with it. Let's do a quick temperature check. Oh. We're right at 400 degrees, which is really good. That's exactly what I want. Just what I want, 400 degrees. Uh. Yeah, I do most of my baking between 400 and 800 degrees. Uh. It's only cool, the boss bought a 300, and there I go then. <laughs> Don't let him hear that, Adam. <laughs> Uh, Janet did well. She did some baklava the other day. She sent me uh, a look at that. I mean, she's she's got her KitchenAid mixer. She's doing it up. We're going to be down there for the Super Bowl on Sunday. This will be the, I don't know, maybe the 11th one. Down there was when some of my first videos were February of 2013 with the Super Bowl. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Uh, uh. So a baking stone is absolutely in indispensable. It's a great thing to have. Yeah, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a cookbook hack job hack job cooking for people who like it down and dirty and fast. Uh, uh, I'm not sorry one bit. Yeah, baking stones are awesome. Um, they're just gonna give that blast of heat you need underneath of a loaf of bread, a pie. 
sometimes I'll sit the uh, uh, pie right on the floor of the oven. Incoming subs. They're always creeping around here. Always creeping around. Creeping around, creeping around, creeping around, round, round. Now we want to make sure that this thing really gets uh, well, really well baked. So we want this baby really golden brown. Yep, baking stones are essential. You need to also have an iron skillet that you put in when you go to bake your bread. Have an iron skillet in the bottom that when you preheat the oven, put the skillet in. And then when you go to put your bread in, make sure to put your ice cube, put a couple cups of ice cubes in that hot skillet and close and put your bread in and close that. That's going to be an important thing too. I, I can get a five for 24 bucks. You want things that slow the development of the crust. Steam slows it down. And you want to put a lot of heat underneath of it for maximum oven spring. Now it just gets the biggest loaf that you... It allows that to expand. See, your bread stops expanding once the crust begins to form. So if you slow that down, that process, by having steam injected in, and a lot of bakeries use steam injection, then it allows the bread to get bigger and bigger and it reach its maximum, uh, create the maximum what they call oven spring. You square bakers. Uh, yeah, that's it. There you go, Craig. Yeah, perfecto. Yeah, that's a good, very good tip to know. Might make some bread nice. You got a sourdough starter. I'm just too lazy because I, you know, I got to, you got to feed it every few days. And then if you go away, it's, you know, just, I mean, it's good, good, good. Baking paper and uh, baking stone. Yeah, there you go, Adam. Well, I just go to the store and I buy a bag. <laughs> uh. No, I've never, I've never done anything. Yeah, I don't know. Me and Gordon aren't going to get along real good. Cheryl will. Oh, Gordon. Cleanup is already done tonight. Oh, and we are right on 400 right there. See that burn? All the years I've baked and stuff, I've never gotten a burn before. It's like the first one. started from organic apples water and flour yeah natural natural a lot of people will use um, pineapple juice for a starter capture some of that um... all right take care Adam a lot of people will use that I got battles there's that was the first uh, years I've been baking for 10 years on here some guys shot up with it no, some guy shot into a Wendy's drive-through window in the Boston area. Boy, that's gonna make that's gonna make workers think twice, huh? Oh wow, what is wrong with this world? I'll be doing up a shorty later, Adam. You can check out the shorty. I'm using a nine and a half inch 
I guess I could have used a nine, but I thought I had like a little much, but I think it's gonna be perfect. So. And it's gonna be your, really your classic, uh, classic pot pie. Thank you, I like the hat too. Diane gave this to me. I don't know why somebody, what did somebody get a bad burger or something? Made my first pecan pie yesterday. Nice, I would bake stone in the bottom of my oven and top of my, I don't think I know they said, yeah, yeah. I just shift mine between inside and outside. But right now that bottom crust is bubbling and it's almost frying that in that oil. I lost one over Christmas, both did all soon. Wow. Sorry to, sorry to hear that, John. Mm -mm -mm. My deepest sympathies. Wow. Sorry to hear that. I think this is what's going to be for dinner tomorrow night. But we got that. We got more of that organic chicken broth. So we're going to be making our own noodles here. And we're going to be making a chicken chicken noodle soup. Yeah, my deepest sympathies. Not too bad tonight. It doesn't feel real cold. It doesn't feel real chilly. Yeah, well, all I can say is welcome to the uh, Orphans Club. Lost a mother, a stepmother, and a father. Yeah, I know the feeling. My father buried two wives with cancer. I think we've been a bit, we've been about 15 minutes or so. I've got that heat very well moderated, low and slow. If you put that heat too high, you're gonna cook the outside of that, and it's gonna just. Boom, blacken up and just go crazy there, so. Joey D. Yeah, it's part of life, so always be prepared. Stay on the sunny side of the street. T.S., how you doing? T.S. Nuts, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> yeah, my mom went out on Good Friday. That made a really <laughs> wild Easter. Yeah, there you go, Nino. It's a, it's all a question of perspective, right? It's how you look at something. Now you now you take it as an honor. You feel blessed that it happened. Mom, Gigi, how are you? You feel blessed that if it was going to happen, it happened on a day that you will always remember. You will never forget. And you say a prayer.
Nice. Went out with the family for dinner. Nice, 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 nice. <sighs> yeah, that's good, John. Yeah, thought of her yesterday. It's wonderful. Offer up a little bit of a prayer and Oh, wow, Alex, that's a lot. I remember Cheryl lost her brother like two, two, two or three years ago, Cheryl. That was tough. And uh, Missy, Missy lost her dad after a long battle with, I think, diabetes or with uncontrolled diabetes or something. It was terrible. Yeah, October 31st of 2020. There you go. Rest in peace. <laughs> Love it. You, you, <laughs> Linda, you can always chat. I'll be putting up a shorty later. We're going to have the late crew will come in and we'll start filling up with people. I'm waiting to see it come out here. It's got to go about 45 minutes. I know that. really bubbling away in there. It's bubbling away. Ooh, yeah, I just made a, uh, I have a chicken pot pie uh, that I made from scratch. It's on the barbecue grill over here. We're doing hack job, hack job cooking tonight. <laughs> I'm in till the end. It's looking good. It's bubbling away. And it's maintaining perfectly at 400 degrees. Now it's hotter on underneath of that stone, but I like that. I want that baby to be good and uh, good and crispy. Fifty-four. I don't know. It's very. It's not too bad tonight. Like a full moon, but it's not it's not too uncomfortable. Toothpicks in your eyes. Yeah, let's get those thumbs up going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Josh. I mean John. I'm still getting used to this screen compared to the other one. <laughs> He'd be sharing. Uh, Linda Harper, I'm trying to remember. Are you on the East Coast? I'm trying to remember if you're on the East Coast. I don't want to say Ohio or West Virginia, something like that. Share it away, Nino. Pennsylvania, that's right. I can feel the temperatures dropping now. North Central. All right, cool. 40 minutes, Elmer. No fondue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, Patricia's always here. She's uh, she's always got a lot going on. She's another one that's uh, heroically taking care of her mom and stuff so uh. they need to feel better it's raining and nasty and wicked wicked <laughs> it's been nice here yeah but fondue no double dipping sour old person is one of the crowning works of the enemy it's cool think about that 
crowning works of the enemy. No, but your LOLing makes me wonder. this off a little bit. Right. Ooh, ooh. Chicken pot pie. Yeah, it's good for the soul. Because now the temperature is really dropping. Pass for pets, how are you? I eat fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's the key. I'm going to look up here. Uh, yeah, the stars are out tonight. Stars are out tonight. And it is, it's definitely starting to drop now. <laughs> chairs out of the way. I don't want to trip carrying this thing around. Get ready to commence the eating. But I want this baby really, really well cooked to eat. Believe it or not, everything's all cleaned up. that heat up so we get a nice finish on this really 
Nice. Bubbling away. No, I don't know about that, Patricia, but I enjoy experimenting. Yeah, I can smell the pie. I smell it. Yeah, Josh. Uh, John, God bless. I can smell. I can smell it. Mm. Trying to trip you. Yeah, I got to be very, very careful around here. Of course, they don't usually hang around. Like they're always there in the mornings. Uh, Trotsky and Baby Tiger are always right at the back door every morning. Like waiting and doing it up. Let's see what we got. Do 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 do. See that baby getting brown and bubbling under there. That's that crust cooking on the bottom. I just popped the heat up a tad to give it a good finish. How'd that look? That baby is bubbling away. That's it. Cooking that dough on the bottom. That exactly what you want. That's what makes it crispy. Pot pie is great comfort food. So I don't see the cats around so they have it on tonight. Or they probably figure I already ate or something. Maybe Tiger's got something in this side yard. Maybe a rat or something. I'm not sure. Might be playing with a rat. Yeah, it looked good, didn't it? it looked good. Might be playing with a rat over there. Let's get the flashlight and investigate. What is Baby Tiger looking at over here? Alright, let's be, let's be nosy. Let's go see. Might be a rat. doing got something got a rat are you doing? Dirt digging? Now you got those dirty, muddy, muddy paws. Where are you hiding out? Right. 
what they're doing over there. I don't know. Hey, Kaylee. Yeah, it's starting to really get brown now. Look at the way that's bubbling. Look at that goodness. We need about 10 more minutes and we should be all good. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. That looks fantastic. We had to let it sit for a minute. We can't... Yeah. Uh, Spoon it out, it'll be too doggone hot. Oh, it's getting cold. Well, let me get the other. Uh... Yeah, I wish we could all enjoy this together tonight, serve this out to all of my friends here. So I'm going to have two shorties. I'm going to have one of the whole pie and then I'll have one with uh, doing it up with the pie. I think the total bed time will probably end up being 45 minutes. Hey, Fattis, how are you? You're just in time. That is a baking stone. You can get them in restaurant supply or uh, stores like, what's that one, Cheryl, that I go, uh, Sir La Table, places like that. Yeah, Amazon, you can order one up on there. Oh, look who's back. Digging in the dirt, huh? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Digging in the dirt. Like, really? How we need... Yeah, they're very good to have. This pie is looking really good. I'm going to do an initial...
for what is what's for dinner on the rancho tonight? How about a barbecue grill with scratch made chicken cut off? Make sure you subscribe to Fishing Out with this. All these great stuff now. That's a good one. Oh, that's so bubbly looking. Dinner on the rancho tonight. How about a barbecue? Oh, that looks good. Scratch made chicken pot pie. Make sure you subscribe. The dishing out of this. Always great stuff happening. Yeah, that's good. That looks really good. That looks really awesome. That looks unbelievable. Almost it's spring here. Good to use the temptation while sitting at the table next to you. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. They, we'll just have to, we'll have to play it by ear. I don't want a cat to get burned up here. But I'm telling you, Angus, they've had so much food today. So much food. Tonight we had the dry food. We had the uh, nine lives. We had Shemay's food that she sent. The non-cat cat lady. I'm going to do a final blast of heat. Really lay this thing out now. I'm going to really add a final burst of heat. I'll show you this. For dinner on the rancho tonight, how about a barbecue grill scratch made chicken pot pie? Make sure you subscribe for the dishing out of this. Always great stuff happening. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. What's for dinner on the rancho? Yum, yum. Wow, that looks good bubbling away. Yeah, that's got to sit for about 10 minutes before we dish that out. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Pie, so much better than cake. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? So I'm giving it one good, more good, solid blast of heat here. Checking to see where the cats are. I got baby socks under the orange tree. I don't know where baby tiger is. Somewhere around under the table. No, I don't know. I really want to smell that, that way I really know it's done. I want that baby really down and brown. Oh, because that's going to be for dinner tomorrow night, too. <laughs> What's up, Jerry? Pizza, pizza or pie? Yeah, I think I could, Kaylee. I just, um, you know, I'm kind of working on stuff, but that's a, I think, hack job cooking. This would definitely be a hack job because what makes it fun is you're making it outside on a barbecue grill. Yeah, if you yeah, you would gain 50 pounds. Well, so what? You know, it's winter time. It's the time. You know, we still got another, you know, month and a half. We still got another month and, yeah, about a month and a half of uh, winter. And, you know, March can be terrible. Even April. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Click a button and it arrives in 24 hours. Nice. Yeah, we got Ronnie in here tonight. Ronnie's like, I ain't going anywhere. I got to see this. <laughs> uh, yeah, going to sleep. Well, we only got a few more minutes, but uh, 
it's definitely got his if it it's got his hit you cannot serve this thing this brutally uh hot people will get uh, really hurt pot pie for a cold frosty night at kitchen stadium i'm gonna tell you boston mark i can't complain it's cold as you guys had it but the temperature is definitely definitely gone down right now definitely so when it sits here, I want you guys to take note of the side, and uh, you, know, you won't be able to see the bottom, of course, it's too hot, but you'll see it's all brown, no, no raw dough, nothing. Having that oil on the bottom, psst, makes that dough like a fry, like a fry dough that you get at a fair or something like that. Hang on again, I'm sick of cooking. Good night, Nino. Make sure to check the shorties. Do 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 do. Making the. Mummy berries. How does that look? You ever seen a pot pie made in a barbecue outdoor grill? Well, there it is right there. Please subscribe. Always doing exciting things here on the channels. Good. Look who's here. Here come the flying monkeys. Hey, Chris Bliss. How are you? See how flaky that is? All that. Nice and brown on the bottom there. Bubbling away. That's what you want. That's mighty fine, huh? So we gotta let that set a bit. And then it'll kind of reconstitute. Right now it's bubbly. Picking up all that goodness. Yeah, you gotta let that rest. Oh, they're going to be smelling that. <laughs> I have a song about chicken pot pie. Awesome! It, does, it turned out pretty good. Pretty happy, but it is hotter than a $2 pistol on an August night in Baltimore City. Right there. Yeah, it looked like that turned out pretty good, Chef. Thank you. And, uh coming from you that's uh, quite the compliment but you know you see the bottom the brown down there so that's you got no raw dough I would have enjoyed being a pastry chef recipe development and stuff like that that would be fun I don't know if I could do it every day but it would be fun it smells amazing 
So for those of you who need to uh, bail tonight, I understand. Uh, about 10 more minutes, I'll be serving it up. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's still cooking. It smells wonderful. should serve up easily too. It's always better to spoon it out, not you don't slice these like a pie. When it's cold you can do that. Yeah the innards are good. They're just real hot right now. Well I think it's good for a few meals. All right. Got the broth came out on top and everything. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. I think it turned out pretty good. Mmm, listen to that crunch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This was about 45 minutes at 400 here. Yeah, I wish you could have some, too. Yes, well, Chef, you may do better on your own. Plus, you're a decent person. You're a good, you know, you don't take advantage of people. Yeah, you can freeze that. Yeah, absolutely. If you could, once it's refrigerated, you can cut it up and wrap it in foil and, or uh, air bags it, get the air out of it, you know, and it would do a good job. Do a good job. You can definitely freeze it. You could almost lift out the whole pie out of there. Yeah, you can turn the whole pie. Look at that. You can actually turn. Well, you can't see it. But you can actually turn the whole pie right there. That's how it's become like one piece now. Like one piece. You gotta let that baby really cool down right Freezing would make it just so I'm not sure. Yeah, um, you know, for rustic cooking. I mean what's I mean hack job hack job cooking would be a good show, right? Is Nicole here? Hey Nicole. How did I miss her? Nicole's here for hack job uh, hack job baking tonight. <laughs> oh Bloody hell! The hell are you doing? Um, this would be this would serve four. This would have four to five servings on this. So, hey, Jason, how are you? You know, I thought bird. I thought I'd be uh, seeing bird around tonight, but 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 but. See the way that baby just. The thing is like a unibody now. Oh, come together. Yeah, I want to see the inside. I got to let this cool down or just everything will just flow out of the inside. So even though I got plenty of thickener in there and all that. But I know it's nicely done on the bottom. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, Patricia. He might be a little under the weather. I don't know. I'm not sure, Patricia. Mm. Mm. Great crust, flaky. Mm -hmm. Do you mind? Mm. Uh, no, the lights were on. Uh, the lights were on last night. I'm just serving it up. Yeah, you can't cut a hot pie. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't do that kind of thing, Patricia. It's not my. Not my. 
Not my dealio. Better not be on that table, knucklehead. Yeah, look at them all running. Uh, uh, uh. Your neighbors had to come over. Wow, makes your uh, vision super blurry. Wow. Holy smokes. Motivate me to walk outside. Go look. Yeah, good. That's good. I I walked uh, about a mile and a half this morning, and then I walked uh, about a mile mile and a half tonight. Yeah, it's got to rest because if you um, might be ready in another minute or two. Oh boy, look who's here. See, I put your chair over there tonight, didn't I? I'm not dumb. I'm not a dummy. I'm not a dummy. All right, Shirley, take care. You can just check out the shorties. They'll be up. But I think I don't think I've ever seen anybody make a pot pie on a barbecue grill. Uh, 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 don't go in the house. Oh well. Oh, there goes baby. Oh. Baby socks. Get out of that house. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Running in the house. Hey, Catherine. Might be able to do it up now. Oh, yeah. That baby is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Let's see if we can get a good piece here. First piece is always a bite. Let's see what we got here. Cut that a little more. Oh, baby. This knife is terrible. Let's see. That first piece is really fighting me. There we go. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That is it right there. Get a little more of that goodness. Oh yeah. Figured you'd be Johnny on the spot. Alright, let me do a little shorty here. As promised, just cut the outdoor barbecue grill, chicken pot pie, and there it is tonight. Make sure you subscribe. We're always doing fun things here on the channel. All right, now look pretty doggone good. Where's my fork? No, I got to go leave the knuckleheads here. No, no, don't you dare. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. It's sliced up really well. Sliced up really well. Mmm. 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 
Delicious. Mm -mm. Thank you, Craig. Sliced really beautifully. Got all the juice there. Yeah, good night, Linda. Thank you, guys. Filling is really nice. Got plenty of chicken in there, too. Hey, Tio. Good night, Alan. Yeah, there's carrots, peas, onion. You could put mushroom. Delicious. Slice just like a pie, too. Really nice. Yeah, you could put uh, you could put some potatoes in it if you want. Light, <coughs> light gray is Trotsky. Mm -mm -mm. Use some organic broth, chicken broth. Nice thing about this, it's got the bottom crust on it too. Mm. I really didn't even. I guess I could, Kaylee, but it's just a standard pot pie, but we just wanted to do it on the barbecue grill. But I talk about how much while I'm going along. It's very light and flaky. Yeah, I hear you, Chef. Mm. Bottom is beautifully done. Mm. I wish I could kind of show you the bottom on there. Uh, no raw dough. Well, it's not keto, but I don't really care. I'm reaching the point in my life. I just want to be a fat slob. Good night, June. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chef, it really turned out wonderfully. Chef, be like Rodeo Kelly, your hog. Slice that baby up and enjoy. Oh, really, really good. I like it when a plan comes together. Bought the chicken in here too. Yeah, it's critical that the undercrust be good, especially when you're doing a barbecue grill.
That's the under crust there. I don't like pies that are raw on the bottom. <laughs> The next contestant, <laughs> the price is right. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to be a cat lady channel. Hmm. Yeah, might have it for breakfast. Thank you, John. It did turn out uh, beyond my expectations. But if you're going to do it, make sure you have a baking stone. Oh, I don't like that at all, Chef. I don't like that at all. Man, when I have a pie... Ugh. People just don't know how to do it. That bottom should be the brownest part of it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Gassy grandma. Yeah, you like that crispy sound? You're going to have to just wait. Y'all have driven me out of my mind tonight. Alright. Luckily, I'm, I'm the only one that got burned, right? I need a little bit more here. So darn hungry today. Just that baby right up. Just like a pie. Imagine that chef just serving, putting that whole pie on the table. Saying, y'all enjoy now. Y'all enjoy. That's the way I want my pot pie. I don't want all the liquid all coming out. All I want it. Uh, worked in making chicken broth. And <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, The dough is raw on the bottom. Wow. Yeah, this was, uh, you just got to be able to blast that heat to the bottom of these. Whether you're making an apple pie, strawberry pie, anything if you're not blind baking that chill. You better understand how to put heat to the bottom of that. That's when, um, you know, a little bit of oil down there is your friend. Well, I guess I'll just give you everything, right? It's hot. You it's cooler now. You knucklehead, this is for you. There. Oof. Soggy bottom on any pie. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty common though. Mm -mm -mm. 
Well, I'm I'm getting old. I'm going to be 65, Craig. I want to start enjoying uh, eating. Mm-mm-mm. That's why the chair is over there. Interesting. So it's homemade pot, but just chicken and gravy, no veggies. I wasn't crazy about them. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd want, I'd want the filling and everything. Oh, the cat's food, you're definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I, I didn't want one of the cats to get burned. They're not used to really hot food. Yeah, I would have given some to Blackbird, you know. Olaberry, never heard of it. Just threw it down, man. What did you do with it? There it is. Ah. Yeah, I've never heard of an Ola Berry pie. Ice cream is not easy to make at home. I'm going to tell you the trick. The problem is when you make it at home, you're getting crystals. You've got to raise the uh, set point for those for that creaming it. You put in if you're making a half gallon of ice cream, you put in one shot of vodka in there, and you won't have any ice, you know, the ice, icy stuff. It'll be smooth. Nobody will taste the vodka. Yeah, they're getting comfortable. They're starting to be a little aggressive, though. Right? I know. Life is not fair. Absolutely. Put a shot of vodka in. You won't have any of that icing. I think that's what's for breakfast tomorrow. That's a real pie right there. Bottom crust and all. Mm -mm. So I guess guys, I'm gonna go ahead. It's been four hours. Uh, I think it's maybe two and a half hours from beginning to end here. You can do it a lot slower. If you wanted to, right, just make sure to use a baking stone to get maximum heat underneath the, the bottom of it. Okay, that's the important thing. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. If you've not hit the thumbs up button, please, please, please do so. And to my wonderful moderators, thank you for everything you do. Tomorrow will be another fun day, not 
I think we're going to be in the workshop tomorrow doing some cleanups. All right. Yep, stay blessed. That's right. Thank you, everybody. It's been great. Good to see you, Paul, everybody else. Mm -hmm.